Good morning. It is 8.39 and we're over here at Maddie's. There's Maddie. And today we're gonna we're gonna make some coffee. We're gonna go downstairs, make some coffee. We're gonna answer some some thought-provoking questions that we found on the internet. So really provoke your thoughts this morning. Well, hello there. <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's cold. I'm getting one. Welcome to Coffee Talk. <laughs> We're gonna answer some thought-provoking questions as we drink our morning coffee. And you're gonna be here with us. <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> Uh, Madison, I shall ask you the first question. I shall answer the first question. We're both gonna answer it. Oh, we should. But I shall ask it. Okay. Uh, when was the last time you tried something new? Let's go skim the surface first. I guess my friend recently came back from Brazil and she brought mm -hmm. me coffee. And that's the first time I tried that coffee. Mm -hmm. So that was me trying something new. It's something like in life new? I mean, I feel like that fits. We dyed our hair. Madison, what are we doing? What are we doing? Uh, and I had never dyed my hair before. I had, so that's not a new thing for me. Yeah, but that was a new thing for you. Yeah, it didn't stay. We should do that again. <laughs> <laughs> What's the most sensible thing someone has said to you? I would just say good advice. Good yeah. advice that someone's given you. We're provoking thought here, Matt. We are. We're provoking You are provoking my thoughts. If you don't ever start doing something, nothing will ever happen. Uh, who said that? My mother. <laughs> In relation to what? Uh, at the time, homework. But if you can take it on a deeper level. <laughs> you don't do this, Madison. It's not going to get done. I feel like there's a better answer to that, but that's what No, I like that. Mind. I like that. Because I feel like that can apply to like uh -huh. everything. You're like... Maybe if someone doesn't care for you anymore, you don't need them in your life. Also, oh, your quote mother. Quote my mother. <laughs> <laughs> quote my mother. Some lovely ladies we got here. Spewing out good advice. Alright. Uh, what gets you excited about life? That's a fun question. It is. Um, being able to do like life progressing things if that makes yeah. any sense being able to do like like this channel just because i wanna because we can and maybe i'll turn into something I'm that'd be fun do it. that's what i say or i feel like just anything that is an adventure makes me really excited i agree with that like going on a road trip or day mm -hmm. trip or going to like ice yeah that we did or yeah Going to Disney, anything that's out of a normal structured mm -hmm. day is exciting. But like that applies to like me starting a new piece too. Mm -hmm. Like my art art yeah, piece. Art piece. <laughs> Cause like every time I finish one, it's like, haha, I'm finished. But then there's like that whole like I feel like the figuring out what I'm gonna do next is one of my favorite parts of the process too. What life lesson did you learn the hard way? <laughs> I bet I can answer. <laughs> SD card was full, so we had to take a, a hot little break here. <laughs> I have an apple now. <laughs> Back to the questions. What was the question that we asked? What life lesson did you learn the hard way? Oh yeah. If, if a relationship is toxic, it's not selfish to get out of it. I feel like I've learned that the hard way multiple times. Mm. Yeah, and she means like friendships, but also, also relationships. works with like other relationships. That's very true, very true of something I've learned this year specifically, mm. the hard way. Are you seconding my answer? Um, <laughs> I'll give a less, well, I have the same answer, <laughs> but if you don't, do your schoolwork, you will get bad grades. <laughs> That's when you've learned the hard way. <laughs> what do you wish you spent more time doing five years ago? 
five years ago. <laughs> How old when I was we? 13, yes. <laughs> what grade was that? Uh, eighth grade. Eighth grade. <laughs> Actually, I wish that I had taken graphic design in middle school. I wish that I had, s well, I did start vocal lessons early, mm -hmm. like earlier than all my friends did. Yeah. But I wish I started it even earlier. Yeah. Because you, you can always get better, so yeah. I wish I started vocal lessons at like eight. I wish I had started graphic design before last year. <laughs> Do you ask enough questions or do you settle for what you know? You know, some people like with um, senior class stuff, because mm -hmm. we're senior class officers, and then I'll just take something as it is. Like if the bookkeeper says this, they're like, and they're like, why though? Why do they need that? There's a reason. But I don't ever ask that question. Mm -hmm. I never ask like why the bookkeeper needs more time. I assume that she has a reason for what she's saying, so why am I going to question it all the time? Mm -hmm. I agree with that. So, but in other circumstances, you very much are the person to question it until you get the answer that you want. Like what? Like, with senior class, mm. <laughs> opposite end of the spectrum, we can't do this fundraiser. Why? Why? I'm gonna go to your superior. Why? I'm gonna go to your superior. Why? <laughs> well, be okay, but that one was because there was like because it was such a dumb reason, and I got like a yes, 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 yes. Oh wait, just kidding. No. Yeah. So it was like why? Mm -hmm. But that was because they got if they had told me a specific reason from the get go, yeah. then I wouldn't have been like okay. Right. And also like rules with fundraising are dumb. very silly. So. Sometimes it's frustrating to have a great idea for a fundraiser, but you can't do it because there's some school board rule. Yeah. Which I'm sure has a reason, but it's just inconvenient in the in when you're like actually doing it. Yeah. What's a belief that you hold with which many people disagree? I'm beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, that being confrontational is the best way to do it. But also, I'm filled with rage if I don't immediately <laughs> confront the person. <laughs> then I'm like, just let it go. Don't even worry about it. But I think I don't think you should do that. Well, you know, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> I think that being confrontational is the best way. But that's something a lot of people would disagree with. Yeah. What can you do today that you were not capable of a year ago? I could buy a lottery ticket. I don't think they mean age stuff. <laughs> My dad asked me to buy a lottery ticket for him yesterday. What is something that you learned? That you've like grown? That you are now capable of? Okay. That's um, the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. This is kind of going back to that, but I feel like I'm capable of having my own opinion and like being like strong on it enough to stick with not keeping someone in my life. I just cut people left and right. <laughs> I feel like you have gotten a lot better at staying with your, like, fighting for your opinion. Yeah. Rather than being like, okay. Because I feel like for a long time, I would state my opinion and be very sure about it, and then someone would say something else, and I'd be like, you know what, maybe you're right. <laughs> and that's not good. What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? I would talk to everyone. But sometimes I'm like, mm, I don't know with certain people. I mean, like, I do talk to everyone, but I would talk more to everyone. You know what I mean? Some people I just don't go up to, because I'm like, meh. You're a meh person. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, like, I don't want them to, like, misconstrue mm -hmm. my kindness as, like, being strange or something, because I never talk to them. Hmm. I don't really think about that. Sometimes I think about that and be like, I don't really want to go up to this person because I don't want them to be like, why are you talking to me? Yeah, because I don't talk to them. Right. But then, on the other way, I do talk to a lot of people I don't talk to. Mm -hmm. But they're just specific people for some reason. Huh. They'll all just overthink about them. I think I would promote myself more. Like my art account, this channel. Oh, I agree with that. That's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, because, I mean, I think judge is a bad word yeah. for both of these things. I don't think they would judge me. No. I just don't want to, like... I don't want any sort of opinion that isn't good, yeah. <laughs> is the thing. I don't want so judgment, yeah. No, I agree. But also, it's not, it's also like the idea, not, because I'm honestly not scared that anybody would say anything. I don't even care if they think anything. Right. 
it's just like a subconscious thing I think. yeah like I don't really care if they were to come up to me and be like this sucks I'd be like well you suck but you don't but... have to watch it so but it's just subconscious that yeah. you don't want to do things that people aren't going to approve of have you done anything lately worth remembering yeah Ooh. the shows mm -hmm. Uh, dyeing your hair. I honestly feel like everything, not everything, but like, like the stuff we do with middle schoolers and the, we like do theater stuff, we help them mentor middle, middle schoolers and that kind of thing. And like, being able to go to state soon and like, for theater. Yeah. <laughs> and like, next weekend we're gonna go see Aladdin and go to Disney and stuff. You know, like it's just, I feel like there's a lot of things. Worth remembering? Yeah. 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 This is a long one. Mm. If you had a friend who spoke to you in the same way that you sometimes speak to yourself, how long would you allow this person to be your friend? How do I speak to myself? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like if I had answered that question like two years ago, I would have said I wouldn't. Mm, it's deep, bro. <laughs> but I feel like I've like. I don't know. Grown a little bit with yeah. that. Yeah. Nicer to myself. So we could be buds. <laughs> <laughs> what would you regret not fully doing, being, or having in life? A family. Mm, that's true. A family, a meaningful relationship, whether that be with a friend or yeah. someone else. Uh, or with your own kid. Right. I mean, like, I want to have a career that I'm, I enjoy, like, I don't want to feel stuck. Right. I do want to feel stuck. <laughs> um, a relationship with my, like, immediate family. Yeah. Still, when I get older. Mm -hmm. I want my kids to really know my parents and, like, my brother mm -hmm. and stuff. And, like, stay close with friends. Yeah. That meant that mean a lot to me. And not let that drift. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? What? I feel like that's something we have to answer for each other. Okay. I feel like you're 30. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say like 22. <laughs> I think you're 30 as in you seem like like you're at a point where you're like content and you're just doing I'm ready to have a kid. <laughs> you just, <laughs> but I, I feel like your aura is 30. <laughs> okay. What's my aura? I feel like your aura is like, 28 is the number that's coming to mind. But I don't Why? have a reason for it. It's just like, I don't think I know anyone. You're like 28. <laughs> my cousin is 28. Like you're going out into the world ready. Ah, that's what. Yeah. 28 year olds are ready. <laughs> If you're 28 out there, <laughs> you're ready. This is us telling you <laughs> it's time. <laughs> if you had the opportunity to get a message across to a large group of people, what would your message be? I would talk about fast fashion and sustainability. I thought you were going to say that. Well, talk out your problems. <laughs> good. <laughs> I feel like that's a good message a good to get message. across to people. Talk out your problems. Be confrontational. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> fight. Physically fight, fight, fight. your <laughs> opponents. <laughs> Alright, that was some coffee chat. Some thought provoking questions for you this morning. Asked and answered with Maddie and Sabrina. You're welcome. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe. Camera died. Bye! <laughs> make sure to like and subscribe. Bye.